Welcome to the MAPES IDV collection. I'm Brian MAPES. The IDV, or Integrated Data Viewer, is a great free tool to bring together all sorts of data about the atmosphere or other Earth science data and visualize it all together. It's funded by the National Science Foundation, so it's free for everyone, and the IDV team keeps maintaining it and improving it, all for science and learning. With the IDV, you can build up several visual layers, like this model surface temperature, station data, atmospheric moisture, upper level flow and vorticity, and satellite cloud imagery. You can zoom in and out with the mouse scroll wheel and learn other mouse skills, as explained in the help area here. Or use the viewpoint tools along the left side to zoom, pan, rotate, and more. You can loop over time. Here we loop from past data to the future. In the future, the observations disappear and only model forecast data are available. To change the times in this loop, you could just adjust the calendar tools from this menu. My Collections uses this feature by offering templates, a one time step bundle with many displays. It loads up quickly and then you can set a longer time loop or choose different past case study dates as you please using the calendar. You set a start time, end time, and time interval. Just read the words carefully here. They make sense. Transparency allows you to see a lot of things together so you can see the relationships better. That's integration. But you have to be able to play with the layers yourself. Turn them on and off, or it gets too messy. That's why you want the IDV, not a simpler tool, and not a bunch of charts on different websites. The data can also come from different places, all over the web or on your computer. That's another powerful form of integration. You can probe the data, like with this atmospheric sounding you move around. The SKU-T display has lots of nice features, like consecutive profiles to see changes with time at a point. The hodograph is interesting. Notice that it's just the top view of a vector wind profile. In the IDV, all the graphics are 3D. For example, you can make a cross-section and move it around. It can be viewed from the side like this. Use the little cubes to jump to a flat view from the east, north, south, or west. Or you can undock a separate display window for cross-sections, like I've done here. Isosurfaces, like this jet stream banana, where wind speed exceeds 50 meters per second, are also 3D objects. You can also make translucent 3D volume renderings, like for clouds, in this HRRR high-resolution model data over South Florida, if we zoom in. Trajectories can be computed in 3D too, as IDV screencast by developer Julian Chastang has shown. 3D viewing is another form of data integration for linking the different levels in your mind. Normal 2D graphics is really just a special case of the IDV's 3D graphics. Now did we get all twisted around and lost? It's no problem. Go to the home icon or the little cube for top view here in the viewpoint menu. This whole set of stuff from the data sources, in this case a set of web links, to all the display layers, all their on-off statuses, the map projection, the viewpoint, the zoom settings, can all be saved and restored as what's called a bundle. Anyone who installs the IDV can reproduce exactly what you're seeing in three dimensions just by loading up that bundle. This makes IDV bundles a really nice item to collect and share for repeatable science about complex situations. That's why I created the MAPES IDV collection, a big, free, growing set of bundles, along with some other goodies I'll show you later. The IDV is an advanced workshop with lots of tools in lots of drawers and hangers. Unlike a real hardware workshop, though, the IDV software can have the same tool in several places where you might want it. It looks a bit confusing, but remember, it's been set up to make sense and be convenient to the thoughtful craftsman who built it. So once you get oriented, thinking like them, and learn the names for things, you can pretty quickly find your way around in a complicated bundle like this, and then you learn by adjusting and improving it. 
that's a lot more fun than learning to build things from scratch. And the help system is always there as a backup once you know the names for things. The next screencast will teach you how to install and explore the MAPES IDV collection.